Let's get right into it. Number five, the world's first steam engine that nobody took seriously. Picture this. It's the first century AD, and some genius named Hero of Alexandria just built a spinning metal ball that runs on steam power. While everyone else is still figuring out basic plumbing, this guy creates what's basically the ancestor of every steam engine that would power the Industrial Revolution. But here's the kicker. Nobody cared. They thought it was just a cool party trick. Hero's contraption, called an Aeolipoli, was this hollow bronze sphere that sat on top of a sealed pot of water. Light a fire underneath, steam shoots out of two little nozzles on opposite sides, and the whole thing starts spinning like crazy. The engineering behind this thing was absolutely brilliant. It worked on jet propulsion principles that we still use in rockets and jet engines today. But instead of revolutionizing ancient civilization, it ended up being a fancy temple decoration. Imagine if they'd actually developed this technology back then. We might have had steam-powered chariots racing around the Colosseum. The crazy part is, this invention was completely forgotten for over a thousand years. When steam engines finally showed up during the Industrial Revolution, inventors like James Watt were basically reinventing Hero's Wheel, except they actually understood what they had stumbled onto. If you're enjoying these mind-blowing connections between ancient genius and modern tech, make sure to subscribe because we've got way more incredible stories coming your way. Number four, an ancient computer that puts your smartphone to shame. In 1901, some sponge divers found what looked like a corroded lump of bronze at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea near a Greek island called Antikythera. For decades, nobody knew what this thing was. Then researchers started taking x-rays of it and discovered something that blew their minds completely. This wasn't just some random ancient junk. It was a precision mechanical computer built over 2,000 years ago. The Antikythera mechanism had more than 30 bronze gears working together to predict the positions of the sun, moon, and planets decades into the future. You could turn a crank and watch as dials showed you exactly where celestial bodies would be on any given date. This thing could predict solar eclipses, track the four-year Olympic cycle, and calculate planetary movements with incredible accuracy. The level of engineering sophistication was so advanced that nothing comparable existed until medieval cathedral clocks showed up a thousand years later. Modern researchers are still figuring out how it worked. The device even had a differential gear, which we didn't think was invented, yun, to the 1500s. Whoever built this understood astronomy, mathematics, and mechanical engineering at a level that wouldn't be seen again for centuries. It's like finding an iPhone buried in a Roman ruin. Comment your location and let us know what ancient technology from your part of the world amazes you the most. Number three, the steel that modern science can't replicate. For over a thousand years, swordsmiths in the Middle East created blades from something called Damascus steel that were absolutely legendary. These weren't just sharp swords, they were impossibly sharp swords. According to stories, a Damascus blade could slice through a piece of silk falling through the air, then turn around and cut through stone without losing its edge. The steel had this distinctive wavy pattern that looked like flowing water across the metal surface. Warriors would travel thousands of miles just to get their hands on one of these blades. But here's where it gets mysterious. Around the 1700s, the knowledge of how to make true Damascus steel just vanished. One generation was creating these incredible weapons, and the next generation had no clue how to do it. Modern metallurgists have been trying to reverse engineer Damascus steel for centuries. We can make steel that looks similar, but nobody has been able to recreate the exact properties that made the original so special. Recently, scientists discovered the secret wasn't in the technique, but in the raw materials. The ore they were using contained tiny amounts of specific elements like vanadium and molybdenum that created the steel's unique properties. When those particular mines ran out, so did the ability to make authentic Damascus steel. We've got technology that can split atoms and send people to space, but we still can't figure out how to make a sword the way blacksmiths did 500 years ago. Number two, concrete that gets stronger with age while ours crumbles. The Romans built structures over 2,000 years ago that are still standing today, looking better than concrete highways built just 20 years ago. Roman concrete doesn't just survive, it actually improves over time. Modern concrete starts falling apart after about 50 years, but Roman concrete gets tougher as centuries pass. The secret was in their recipe. 
Instead of using regular sand and gravel, Romans mixed volcanic ash with lime and seawater to create their concrete. This created something called a posillanic reaction that formed incredibly durable crystals. But the real genius was what happened when seawater got into tiny cracks. Instead of causing damage like it does with modern concrete, the seawater would react with the volcanic materials and actually heal the cracks by creating new crystals. It's like the concrete had a built-in repair system. Modern engineers are studying this ancient formula, trying to figure out how to make our concrete self-healing like the Romans did. Before we get to our final incredible ancient innovation, make sure to share this video with anyone who loves discovering how our ancestors were way more advanced than we give them credit for. Number one, the lost art of flexible glass that could have changed everything. Imagine a type of glass that doesn't shatter when you drop it. Instead, it just dents like metal and bounces back into shape. Sounds impossible, right? Well, according to ancient Roman historians, this incredible material actually existed. The story goes that during Emperor Tiberius's reign, an inventor brought a drinking cup made of this flexible glass to the emperor's court. To demonstrate its properties, the guy literally threw the cup on the ground. Instead of exploding into a thousand pieces like normal glass, it just got a small dent that he hammered out with a little tool. The emperor was reportedly so impressed that he asked if anyone else knew the secret. When the inventor said no, Tiberius had him executed on the spot. Why? Because he was terrified this unbreakable glass would make gold and silver worthless. Think about what this means. The Romans might have had smartphone screens that never crack, car windshields that survive, crashes, and windows that could withstand hurricanes. This technology could have revolutionized everything from architecture to transportation, but instead of embracing innovation, fear of economic disruption killed it before it could spread. Modern scientists have been trying to recreate this flexible glass for decades. We've got materials like Gorilla Glass and Tempered Glass that are pretty tough, but nothing matches the descriptions of what the Romans supposedly achieved. Some researchers think it might have been an early form of what we now call metallic glass, but the exact formula remains a mystery. Others believe the stories are just legends, but Roman historians wrote about it like it was a real, documented event. The craziest part is that this wasn't the only time ancient civilizations stumbled onto game-changing technologies and then lost them. Whether through war, economic fears, or simple neglect, humanity has repeatedly discovered incredible innovations only to watch them disappear into history. These ancient blueprints remind us that progress isn't always linear. Sometimes our ancestors were solving problems we're still struggling with today. Sometimes the most revolutionary ideas come from looking backward instead of forward. The next time you're frustrated with your cracked phone screen or dealing with crumbling infrastructure, remember that somewhere in the past, somebody might have already figured out the solution. We just have to be smart enough to rediscover their genius and brave enough to actually use it. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.